Here are the starters for the 10th race. Number one, Can Tattle, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained by Tom Simmons. Rick Schrock is up. 1A Black Oliver, owned by Larry Breed of Stockton. Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number two, Silent Steel, owned by Jesse Fergie of Colorado, by Dolores and Ron Phillips of Petersburg, Illinois, trained and driven by Mike Rogers. Number three, Little Man Alex, owned by Harvey Eisman of Flint, Michigan. Urban Miller trains, Andy Miller drives. Number four, Tats Cat, owned by Mary Alice, Tom, Tom T, and Trace Tietrick of Jeff, trained and driven by Tom T. Tietrick. Number five, Fox Valley Jacob, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, trained and driven by Fred Finn, Jr. Number six, TJ's Eddie Mack, owned by Terry and Judith Benison of Galva. The trainer is Ray Hanna. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number seven, Lucky Image, is owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained and driven by Jace Sundin. Number eight will be Holly Hill Amigo, owned by Orville Rush of Taylor Ridge and Gary Williams of Milan, Illinois, trained by Dave Van Der Rostein. The driver is Randall Finn. And number nine, Rappin' Banjo, owned by Donald James of Albion and Brandy Malloy of West Salem, Pat Malloy Jr. trains and drives. Win, play, show, exact away, drink, county fair challenge for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. The tenth and final race, three minutes till post. This summer has seen one of the finest crop of two-year-old pacers on the fair circuit in some time. Fox Valley Jacob, 12 for 14. TJ's Eddie Mack has broken a couple of two-year-old track records on the fair tour. Black Oliver, 7 for 11. Can Tattle, 5 for 9. Silent Steel, 12 times first or second. Lucky Image, 8 for 9. Holly Hill Amigo, 8 times first or second. Rappin' Banjo, 6 times in the top two. And Little Man Alex, winner of the Illinois Stallion Stakes. They're at the post, the gate's rolling. And here they come for the finale. Racing to resume on Thursday at noon. They're off and pacing. Holly Hill Amigo grabs the racetrack. TJ's Eddie Mack and Fox Valley Yale. Jacob diving toward the rail gets to the front to take the lead. TJ's Eddie Mack moves up on the outside into second. Now he's going toward the top. Holly Hill Amigo is still parked third. Silent Steel has a ground saving trip in fourth. Little Man Alex is fifth. A gap of two to Tats Cat, who is sixth. Can Tattle is racing in seventh. Lucky Image is eighth. Black Oliver is ninth and moves up around Rappin Banjo, who is tenth and last. 28 seconds for the opening quarter. And Holly Hill Amigo has made the top by the time they reach the back stretch with TJ. TJ's Eddie Mack in second. Here comes TJ's Eddie Mack right back to the outside to regain the lead after three-eighths of a mile. TJ's Eddie Mack and now Fox Valley Jacob moving up on the outside into second. And Silent Steel starts to drive from third up on the outside of Holly Hill Amigo. Here comes Little Man Alex moving up in the outer flow with cover. He's fifth. He's four lengths off the lead. Tats Cat moves up toward his inside. And then Can Tattle, Lucky Image, who's nine lengths off the lead. Rappin Banjo toward the rail. Black Oliver is last, but he is ten lengths from the front. 57 and one was the time for the half. Fox Valley Jacob on top by one length, midway on the final turn. Silent Steel is on the outside challenging TJ's Eddie Mack for second. Little Man Alex is fourth behind that pair outside of Holly Hill Amigo, who needs more room. Then Can Tattle and Tats Cat. Tats Cat looks for room toward the inside, still five lengths off the lead. Three quarters, 126 and two. Fox Valley Jacob, Little Man Alex gearing up, and TJ's Eddie Mack in between those two. Fox Valley Jacob leads it by a length. Here comes TJ's Eddie Mack off the rail from second. Little Man Alex is third. Late move by Black Oliver on the grandstand side. Here comes TJ's Eddie Mack to challenge Fox Valley Jacob, who still has him by a length. Then Little Man Alex and Black Oliver. Fox Valley Jacob is tough. TJ's Eddie Mack is second best today. Fox Valley Jacob wins it by one length. TJ's Eddie Mack was second, close for third. Either Little Man Alex or Black Oliver for third in 154 and one. Dr. Kenneth and Patricia Walker who along with son Jimmy bred this two-year-old Sportsmaster Colt into the winter circle for the County Fair Challenge Race 10, driven by Fred Finn Jr. He's also the trainer, owned by Bobby Dexter, Fox Valley Jacob. Number six, TJ's Eddie Mack was second. Number three, Little Man Alex was third. The 1A Black Oliver finished fourth. Result unofficial.
Brenda Watson of the IHHA from Fairfield making the trophy presentation to Bobby Dexter. Let's get a word with our winning owner. Bobby told the crowd earlier, 50 years in the standard bread business. You've owned a lot of nice horses. Where does Fox Valley Jacob rank on that list? Well, one of the best two-year-olds I've ever had. He's an excellent Illinois bread colt. He just won stake in the major races. When you were watching from the grandstand and uh, Fred Finn Jr. got this colt right to the front, he got shuffled back to third. Were you glad to see Freddie get off the rail and take the lead again before the half? Yeah, I was, really. He's pretty good on the front end. He is. He's been very tough on the front end. So good, folks. This colt has won 13 out of 15 races. Bobby, we say it before. A lot of people like yourself who don't live in Illinois have invested very heavily in Illinois breads. You've helped support this program. Tell everybody back in the Bluegrass State we said hello, and we hope to see you back here in the Winter Circle again. Thank you, Curry. That's Bobby Dexter, Paducah, Kentucky. He's our winning owner. More in a moment. 60 cents. The rundown is next. 